everyone, my name is Amy and welcome to our new YouTube channel, uh, Journey to Self-Sufficiency. Uh, I thought I'd do a little introduction video to explain who we are, what we do and why we're doing it. Um, so our journey began uh, about seven and a half years ago, um, actually when our dog got diagnosed with elbow, elbow dysplasia. And he wasn't even one at the time and the vets sort of kind of said, oh well, he's not going to have a very good quality of life. Um, and actually there's not a lot we can do for him so maybe it would be best if you just put him down um, and out of desperation I just started looking uh, into other things that we could do to help him and I came across an amazing guy called Mark Elliott he's um, a homeopathic vet um, based in the south of England and Mark changed Hunter's diet onto a raw food diet and he also gave us a homeopathic remedy to give him um, and before you knew it, Hunter was a different dog. He had stopped limping around, um, he was just normal again. Um, and it kind of amazed us and it made us think about what we were eating and what we were consuming and what difference it might make if we looked at natural alternatives. Um, which in turn made us look at our food. And we quickly came to realise that actually we had no idea what we were eating. Uh, we didn't know where it was from. Um, we didn't know what it contained, we didn't know how it had been raised. Um, and then when we did some research, uh, we were quite astonished. So it kind of set us down this journey um, to becoming more self-sufficient and growing our own food. So we did know where it came from and what was in it um, and how it was raised. So we set up a little vegetable patch. Um, I got a few chickens for some eggs. Um, but we quickly realised that actually our little garden was just not going to cut it and we needed more land um, to do what we wanted to do. So at the same kind of time, my parents were actually looking for a holiday home over in France and we just happened to be looking about what they were looking at and quickly realised that land was actually affordable and available in France. So maybe we should take the leap. So we kind of jumped on the bandwagon with my parents and within six months we were in France um, and we've been here for the last four years so um, here we are uh, and we just thought we'd share with you our journey on what we've learnt so far and what we're learning um, so um, obviously a huge part of why we're doing this um, is because of animal welfare issues uh, that w came to light when we started looking at, at meat production. So one of our huge passions is making sure our animals are raised in natural environments, free range, um, being fed organically and just trying to give them as much of what they would need naturally um, as we can um, and also reducing the chemicals that um, are being pumped into our meat so we don't use antibiotics or any other nasties um, we're really lucky to have a homeopathic vet over here too uh, so we do have that alternative uh, for our medicines um, and growing our fruit and veg we've now got more space for um, which which works um, fantastically so we use permaculture methods um, a mix of all sorts of things that we've learnt along the way through YouTube, books, visiting people, talking to people, seeing other farms um, and we've just picked up bits and bobs um, from everywhere and we've sort of interpreted and used what we, we use um, so there'll be lots on that. Um, so what do we have here? So we have 50 acres, uh, we've got a host of different buildings, outbuildings and um, dwellings so we've got a little holiday cottage that my parents use um, we live here permanently in our one bedroom um, part of the house uh, we have a one bedroom holiday cottage uh, which you can probably see behind me um, and we're currently renovating our main house which is um, going to be a six bedroom uh, property that uh, larger groups and families can use you could probably, probably see it if I show you it here uh, so you can probably see behind me, this is going to be the new six bedroom home and this is our little one bedroom part there. Um, so we've created a farm walk, obviously people can come and stay for their holidays, so we created a farm walk um, that our guests have access to and it's a two kilometre walk that goes around the farm so they can see the animals, the goats or the pigs or the sheep or the chickens or, or whatever it might be. 
Um, and there's loads of nature um, trails and little wildlife habitats and things like that uh, for people to, to come and enjoy while they're on their holiday. Uh, lots of picnic spots and things like that. Um, but it doubles up as well as um, because we sell our meat directly from the farm um, and animal welfare has become a really uh, important thing to us. We wanted people to be able to see where their meat um, was being raised and what environment they're living in and um, if the animals are healthy and happy. So the farm walk doubles up for people that buy our meat to be able to come and see where their, their meat is being raised. Um, so like I say, we sell our, our meat, our free range pork, chicken, uh, eggs and our grass fed lamb. Um, James uses um, a strip grazing method for the, for the sheep. Um, we're 100% organic um, and another thing that's really important to us is the biodiversity on the farm. Uh, so like I said we're creating lots of wildlife habitats and encouraging um, nature to come within the farm which in turn helps everything else um, and the balance so that's something that's really important to us. Uh, so what what's going to be uh, in our in our videos? So we're going to cover subjects like growing fruit and vegetables, uh, permaculture methods, um, raising your own meat but also using animals um, within the sort of permaculture system so whether it's using the pigs and chickens for or helping to prepare the, the vegetable patch, for example. Um, I'm just getting um, into foraging, something that um, fascinates me and I need to get better at. Um, so I'm learning a lot about foraging, which I'll share with you. Um, I'm gonna share with you recipes and um, ways you can preserve the fruit and veg that you're growing, uh, how to create wildlife habitats, uh, which is something that's really important. Um, James is really good at building and making things, so I'm going to get him roped into making some videos on, on building things. Um, and also he's got a lot of knowledge on the pasture management and strip grazing for the ruminants. So I'll get him sharing some, some information about that too. Um, so yeah, lots, lots of information to share, lots um, that you can come along on the journey with. I hope that you find the channel interesting. Um, and hopefully a bit inspiring and see what you take from it. Uh, one thing that I do have to say, I have no technological abilities whatsoever and I have no idea how to edit a video. So um, basically you're just getting uncut videos. Um, I'm, there's no fancy music in the background or, or anything like that, I'm afraid. So I apologise for my camera work. It may be shocking. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Um, but that's just something that I'm not into. So um, this is what you get. So yeah, um, if you want to check out our farm on Facebook or on the internet, we're called De La Terre France, spelled D-E-L-A-T-E-R-R-E -E -R -R France, which means of the earth. Um, and you can see updates on our individual animals or what's going on in the holiday season, find out about our holiday accommodation. Um, so yeah, check us out on Facebook or the internet. And if you like our videos, please click like. And if you want to uh, follow us on our journey and um, see what's, what's coming up, please subscribe. Um, so yeah, that's it for me at the moment. Um, I'll stop waffling on. I hope you enjoy the, the videos that will be coming and uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.